We talk a lot about the trivector. Let's just explain that a little bit more. If we take any item, such as the coffee cup here, the coffee cup occupies a shape. It has a height, a width, and a breadth. It has a variation in that shape that allows us to recognize it as a cup. If we understand that down at chemical level, we have shape as well. In fact, all of biology depends on different shapes, as that we and everything about us exists in a three-dimensional space. The different factors of biology are how shape is transmitted to one spot to another. When I smell the coffee, and I can smell that, I don't absorb the coffee into the nose, but the molecules of the coffee will actually touch shape receptors. Those shape receptors will trigger into the brain, and the brain will say, ah, I recognize that shape. That shape is coffee. So from that, we can start to get an idea of the, of the entire organization. Now, what helps hold together this shape? If we start to study these different shapes, one of the things we're going to find in the study of polography in modern chemistry, it's also known as voltammetry. That if we take substances, even at very, very dilute quantities, 10 to the minus 10th uh, in percentages, and we take these very, very small quantities, and if we put them into a bowl, I use the coffee cup as an example, we put the, uh, into the bowl, we put in two electrodes, as we change the amount of voltage going in, if we measure the change in amperage, we can generate a graph that will tell us as we change voltage, we'll put voltage on the bottom, we measure amperage change, we're going to get a picture. This is the picture of adrenaline, by the way. We're going to see that every known hormone will have a change, have a, its own signature. Now, by a simple trick of using volts equals amps times resistance and using what we know as Ohm's law, Ohm's law not being an absolute perfect, it's more of a correlate, but, but then we can generate what I call the tri-vector. If we measure the items, if we measure their voltage, amperage, and resistance capacities when we do exactly the same test, we can see that a three-dimensional shape an electrical process that helps to hold that shape will manifest. As we take the different homeopathics of every known classical homeopathic, all different types of enzymes, minerals, hormones, etc., vitamins, and we measure them, we can see that they all have very interesting electrical signatures, and the electrical signatures is a trivector. As we measure this, we've used a 22 by 22 by 22 digitization to help us see the total shape. To just take one frequency would be inadequate. That would be like trying to describe my shape with just one frequency, whereas actually it's a very much of a digitization. If we wanted to see exactly the measurements of other things, we really need to break it up into smaller components. We allow the computer to then measure these items, 22 by 22 by 22. Now we're going to find that the homeopathics, the vitamins, the minerals, all the dead things, that the items that do not reproduce and do not uh, metabolize on their own, that they have what we call a static, a static energy state. In other words, they have a shape, they have a taste, because taste is just a, a de detection of shape. They have an energy. That energy is held together by an electrical factor. It's reflected and it is static. Now by storing that type of energy in the hard drive, along inside the machine we put a little, a little test kit of the actual samples of all these items. Because we don't believe that the 22 by 22 by 22 is quite enough. Uh, that's really just a small estimate. So we want to put the actual items into a test kit so we get the quantum coherency factor as we've written in the books. So once we got the quantum coherency factors, etc., now we got the static. We're going to find that the living items have what is known as a reactive field. If we measure the trivector, the voltage amperage resistance, so we would do this with 55 different measures, as you remember, then we're going to see this is constantly changing in the living system. Why? Because we are being drawn towards our nutrition and we are being repelled away from our toxins. Our electrical matrix is reactive to our environment. 
It has to be. We have to de be able to detect the temperatures and react to them. We have to be able to detect the different, the, the diminished quantity of water and be able to recognize that we're thirsty. We have to be able to recognize the diminishing quantity of vitamins or carbohydrates or proteins and seek those out as we seek other nutrients as well. If we have diminished love or diminished respect, we will be seeking that as well because we are reactive to our matrix. We are reactive with the environment. We are drawn towards our nutrition and we are repelled away from our toxins. So now we can start to check all this. We will see that the patient has a reactive matrix as we measure it. How does the patient change to these static vectors. If we take the static vectors and we're going to take, let's say we take 8,000 of them, which are in the system now, we take 8,000 different stored static vectors, tri-vector patterns, and we give them to the patient at biological rates of one hundredth of a second or less depending on the calibration of the patient because the machine's calibrated to the perfect reactivity time. And if we do that, one hundredth of a second, 8,000 items, we can see that in about 80 seconds or so, we can get a pattern of reactivity. With this, we can now start to see a distinct pattern of reactivity of the patient to these reactive items. And when we do that, lo and behold, we're going to call that the zeroid. The zeroid is a word that defines the reaction of measuring the reactive changes in the patient's trivector energy pattern to thousands of items at biological speeds. If we were to take these 8,000 items and try to do even one measurement with a muscle or with a probe, and we tried to do that and with all of those and exchanged them in, we would see that it would take months. The zeroid is going to be able to do it in minutes.